everyone, thanks for joining us today. It is Earth Day. Earth Day happens once a year, April 22nd, every single year. But at Allen Brooks Nature Center, we celebrate Earth Day every day. To help reduce our waste, we do composting, which you can do too. It's a great way to get rid of your food scraps that you would usually send to a landfill. Um, and you can compost at home, in your backyard, you can do it in your house in a little bin. It's really easy to do, and as long as you're doing it correctly, it works really well, and it won't even get stinky. All you need is a bin, some green materials, so that's like your fruits and vegetables, maybe a banana peel or an apple core, um, some rotten vegetables from your fridge. You need some brown materials, which is soil, newspapers, uh, dried leaves, and then you also need some water and the sunlight. When you add your food scraps to this bin, along with your other materials, they break down and disappear. Now this may seem like magic, but it's actually what we call decomposition. In the soil, there are bacteria, fungi, and teeny tiny decomposers that are so small that you would need a microscope to see them. They break down the food and turn it into fertilizer. Now fertilizer is filled with nutrients and good stuff from the food materials and you can add it to your garden and it will help your plants grow really well. Our compost bin is a little bit different as we have added some special little friends to help break down the food a little bit faster. Um, yup, you've guessed it, we've got worms! This is our special worm composting bin. Worms are amazing decomposers, helping to break down the rotten food in the compost bin. So when we add food to this bin, the worms find it, eat it, and then what do you think they do? They poop! This turns it from food into fertilizer for our gardens. Using worms to compost is called vermicomposting and it's a great way to speed up the process of decomposition. These worms are red wigglers and they like to eat a lot. Worms don't like light, they like to be in the dark so they live underground in the dirt. Of course worms do not have arms or legs but instead they use muscles to help them move forward or backwards. Thanks for joining us today. If you would like to make your own compost at home, check out the link in our description. Happy Earth Day, everybody!